all right all right how are we doing how are we doing we're back at it hope everybody's doing all right tonight gonna reach into the void here and uh summon a red bull <laughs> that looks really cool <laughs> Well, I have to decide something because there's a wipe on Dark and Darker on Tuesday. And I'm trying to decide if that's something that I want to actually uh, do some streams of. So I guess technically this is kind of a Let's Play series. There's nothing to see here. It appears something's going down though. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. By the keys of St. Peter. This is all I need. We'll have to send word. Dude, to how is it out there? That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanish's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say you had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you. To Limpy Lubosch. To Limpy Lubosch. They changed the pronunciation oh, of Uzhitz. They were saying Uzhitz the whole time, and now they're saying Auschitz. Which is dangerously close to another one. Oh, shit. Take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. We found our man with a limp. That was pretty quick. Unfortunately, he is, uh... I don't know, what would you call that? When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. Back and to playing detective. Saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Who was Limpy Lubosch? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. All right. Well, he told me a whole lot of nothing. He got limp in an accident. He was always up to kind of something suspicious. Let's just, I guess, talk to named people. Good day to you. What do you need? I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Leiper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? There wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time. And then yesterday, he turned up hmm. at the church and even Talk talked to the, to the parish priest. I never so I'm pretty sure before. we're getting close Probably to a part conscience. where I'll have to censor some stuff. It's like the only thing I did happen to Google. 
but then again, I don't really know what, like, I've, I've not gotten any, like, confirmation. I've, well, actually, I've just gotten nothing but conflicting information about how YouTube handles nudity. And a lot of games these days have, you know, nudity. Do you know what Lou Bosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home. I didn't see him all day. Who was this Lou Bosch who was murdered? You could see at first glance. Oh, hey, oh, thanks, I Cam. Well out of I appreciate brain. it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Do you know who Lou Bosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? As far as I know, he had no well, at all. Well, I'm glad world. the. Uh, sub uh the sub alert That's works awesome. thank you spent several hours trying to make sure that thing worked God bless. you there mash My where you up to, to you. but you look like shit i've come in the name of sahanish of lipa i'm investigating the massacre in neuhoff and now a murder here as well can i ask you a few questions of course ask away Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, now I think of it, I hadn't seen him around for a while. No idea where he was skulking. Do you know anyone Lou Bosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? He was a loner. He didn't even have any mates in the tavern. Hmm. A suspicious loner who disappeared for days at a time and was noticed at a raid where a bunch of people died. That man Lubosch who was murdered, what was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? Not a clue. Mm. Not That's really getting all. any new information. The only thing that I have noticed is that he did talk to the priest the day of the you. raid. So, I would imagine maybe the priest is up at the church. Hey there, Joseph. You look like a pretty reasonable fella. He's got a goatee. Surely I'm he knows something. I'm coming the name nothing. of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhoff, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but ask all you want. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. He looked like he was in a hurry. Hmm. It was only a shadow against the sky, but after what happened, I wouldn't wonder... Do you know anyone Lou Bosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes, but he never said much. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, come to think of it, he was in church yesterday. That's the second tip off of the cheech. He was even talking to the priest and went to confession. Okay. I was wondering what he was up to, to take like to that's the faith all of a sudden. But I suppose no sin's too dark for God's mercy. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. God be with you. Farewell. Alright. Yes. Well, actually, maybe the bailiff. Because last time I went to the church, there was uh, nobody there. God be with you. Another thing about Lou Bosch. Alright, yeah, no. Good luck to you. Guess I'll just go to the church. I'm surprised the priest isn't here. But actually, I don't know if I could tell you what a priest looks like. Unless he just straight up has, like, the bald head and... I don't think they wore the collared neck pieces. Ooh. Or whatever those are called. I don't know what the things that the... Catholic fathers wear around their neck. I'm assuming Catholic because, uh said confessions what time is it well, it's almost night time 
it's a little boring, but I think we're going to go. Read until daytime, maybe, or. You there, Vashik. Day to you. Is he training on oh, horse riding? I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lypa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but ask all you want. That man Lubos who was murdered. What was oh, did I already talk to this guy? Didn't really Nothing. know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. That's all. Thank you. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Good luck. Priest is sleeping on a bench. The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lypa, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosh? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> all right. Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhof was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers. There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confession. Hmm. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. No, I better not threaten the priest. That could be bad. People generally like those guys. But Lubosh is dead. You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told you, I would be betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church. If people believed the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, the consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians? Worse than the murderer escaping punishment. No one escapes punishment. Mm. Father, Lubosh was my only lead to the Neuhof Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. May the Lord Supposedly there's like a castle or a kingdom over this way. Or yeah. kingdom's not like, it's not that big. But apparently you can like build it up yourself and stuff like that and manage it. And I love that kind of stuff. I just read about it when it popped up the DLC info whenever I finally got out of the tutorial. A land called Privy Privy Slot. I don't even. I'm like, we'll find out here in a minute. You need to be careful. That's a person. They're just a regular old people. Oh, it's an herbalist. Maybe she can help me. Herb woman. Good God, what happened to your clothes? If you were robbed, you should report it. Thanks for nothing, lady. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh, that's a person. Is he a good person? What Hello, poacher. Show me what you have for sale. Hey, how are you, T-Hall? Everything going good, man? Ooh, this might be it. Um, let's see what happens. Well, I should have kept it as like a uh, a bow battle, but I got bold and ran in with my with my sword, thinking that he was an archer, and I didn't need to worry. I was quite wrong. Oh, what a shot! I hear a lot of talking. Oh, what's up, boy? gotta raise the alarm buddy what's the matter not sure how that oh my everyone? god I'm not I'm clearly not prepared. Yeah, I'm not prepared for this. Yep. Cool. Oh, Pilgrim. Howdy do, Pilgrim. About. An offer you can't refuse. The finest goods at an incredible price. All right, show me what you're selling. As you wish. What has it got? One thing. The first of the line of demonic dice. This guy's probably Satan, right? Random beggar on the side of the road selling me demonic dice. Yeah, I'll buy it. Speaking of which, it would appear there is a man over here playing dice. Hello, buddy. Jesus Christ be praised. Care to try your hand at dice? Okay. I was right. So, bring it on. One, two, three. I don't understand what's giving me points right now. Because if I wouldn't have gained points. What up, Justy? How you doing, buddy? Just a chill Saturday night, playing some dice with the boys. Um, I don't understand. One, two, three. Is it maybe because I have a straight in the making? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. It's worth 500 points. Okay, yeah. 
One, two, three, four, five. Them dice ain't gonna throw themselves you. Yeah, I'm aware, but you can't throw pass. again, you know. Well, I didn't know. That's it. We'll see. Seven eleven. Oh, that's right. Threes are worth 50. I'm silly. I'm a silly boy. Three, four, 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 five. Nope. Yo, what? Your okay. Turn. This guy's better than me. Ooh, three sixes. I win this I get 50 gold which in the grand scheme of things isn't a whole lot however I did just get a new demonic dice I'm not sure what the demonic dice does all right we're going for the gamble not see if I get anything in this three no I'm not I should have been though because I busted oh Why wasn't that a bus? Our fives were all oh, fives are worth 50. Okay. We're tied in the half 1550 to 1550. We'll see. Yeah, oh no. Oh. Yeah, okay. And yeah, we'll just take that. Take our 700 and move it on. I think I understand. I don't understand the nuances. I'm sure there's some strategy. This must have been like the move back in the day, right? Just chill. Oh shit! With scores like that, it'll soon be over. Guys, I think he cleaned it. What is going on? They're rolling well this game. I thought I was doing good. He rolled twice and cleaned me. Boy, you're lucky. 
You're lucky the guards and God are watching. I'm getting my 50 back. <laughs> I took his pretzel. Suck it. Suck it. Where's the priest? Good day to you. Dude, bailiff is so, the bailiff is so happy that I took this investigation off his hands. Look at him. He's just chilling. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. On what? What about your kin? Elf! They're dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. Oh, I don't check that except for birthdays, man. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. We just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. We killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl. Even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Talberg with the Cunins on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There's a pile of bodies in front of the church and robbed me. So I can just clip it? Awesome. My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch Bernard. did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyal? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional scene... It didn't even let me pop anything up. We want more innocent people to die. Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions, because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crimes. There. I understand, Satisfied. but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wonder He's up to something crafty. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits isn't pro. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained too. You too, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. 
condemning vices, and of course describing them in detail. The tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days, and stories from real life with a nice moral to them are popular as well, especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Can you give me an example? Talking about the fornication and the vices? A priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hoos is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hoos about Mother Church, the lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned... You know me too. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of fornication as well. The whole of Christendom Big fan, actually. Just like a flock of Glad they invented it. They settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Hey. You want to steal and murder? Dude, this guy was talking about the same shit that... What if the devil himself got old, were to got, Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money... You start talking about the money in church. Beautiful horses to ride Especially in this time period. Surefire way to be, get called a witch and get burned. And expensive fur, while Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor. For you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Well, this Jan Hoos character is quite a rebel. God bless oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Hoos preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything <laughs> yeah. that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. Yeah, stuff them. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundation. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. Nonsense. Um, they can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. I bet they can. I bet they can burn him. <laughs> I bet they can do just that. I think they'll rather do whatever they want. I'd like a beer. What do you think of this Jan Hoos? He's certainly a wise man. A little I overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and Boy lives in here. sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, for, for debauchery? No, I don't. Where can I find out more about his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. There. If you're interested, you can read I'm them at sorry. my presbytery. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. <laughs> I'd say that's a good plan, ah, Father. That sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Uh oh. I just got a new level in drinking. <laughs> <laughs> this is music, bro. Kind of slapping.
Cyrus. Bailiff, come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Oh shit, the coppers. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Oh, <damn. laughs> Throw them out. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. You looking for a fight? <laughs> Henry, back me up. <laughs> he says, sure dang, father. Thou shalt not hurt thy Oh, damn. Bullets. Gunda. Suck it, nerd. Oh, my character is so drunk. I'm just beating the shit out of the bailiff. <laughs> <laughs> Find the bell tower. I'd love to. And Henry, too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What will people say? They can say what they like. What do I care? What do they do to me? <laughs> Look at this beauty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, everybody's going to think like there's a fucking raid or something like that. What's happening? Come here. This priest, devious dog. The priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? Oh, might as well. Good for you, Henry. Beating cheeks, dog. Smashing. <laughs> Earn the priest's trust completed. Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. <laughs> Literally bond with the sheep. Godwin, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, oh yeah, probably. <laughs> Shit got wild, dude. Uh, where the... 
Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? <laughs> who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. <laughs> and we have a wonderful time. Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christopher, in my head. Oh, my guts. My poor suffering stomach. Oh. What was that woman on about? That it was, in fact. Oh <laughs> That'd be hilarious, dude. <laughs> I've forgotten something. And then everybody all over the kingdom calls you sheep fucker. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Save 15 villages, Mass. prevent a raid, oh, save town bird, but fuck one sheep, Mass. and everybody calls you sheep fucker. Oh, you're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy, but I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're going to excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So... First, I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit. Do you want them to burn us at the I do got to remember to cut that from the okay. VOD, though. <laughs> Suppose it's Sir Rat. So they'll just take that whole ass video down. came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it if you stopped gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? It's flawless, you Henry. Know. It's flawless. You can do it. Just, just one little. Just a little. Just a little sermon. Just a little sermon, Henry. Yeah, fuck it. I'll preach to the masses. Uh, Alright. But I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it then. Time to pretend to be a priest, boys. Literally walking at a slant. My guy is not doing good. Thought I bought a bunch of salami. Reputation loss. These people hate me, bro. I thought he'd never show up. The swill pup. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with him, you beast. <laughs> Gerald, you were with him. Sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit Panem in Sanctas at Venerabiles Amanus Suas. <clears throat> <laughs> You're doing great, buddy. You got this. In meam commemoration. The 
Hey, girl. Hey, what up? You may have had the honor <laughs> of meeting Henry from Scarlet's, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuha. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, he for real. Was able to hear <laughs> he smelled the communion wine. I was like, University. "Nah, dude. Maybe later." managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard because oh shit as you all probably know I kind of remember what he was saying something about like preacher in Prague so um, Henry you may begin something about fuck the church they're greedy taking money from the poor Bet you it's timed. Ooh. And all my things. Begin it confidently. Let me get straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. That boy has a cheek. Oh, it worked. Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <clears throat> it is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Uh, plague, humans, hunger, and, and, and chaos. And it is all due oh, to... Oh, that didn't work. The corrupt servants of God who do not practice what they preach. They think sins can be washed away by money. And they sell indulgences. And, and that, that's bad. Because sins cannot be redeemed with silver. Prague didn't do much for his confidence. Talk about the sin of drunk <laughs> fornication shit. <laughs> it is the custom of the gluttonous Get. prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us ordinary folk? Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He, whose companions were poor travelers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. Yeah. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. For there should be moderation in all things, and it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly <laughs> indulgence. He's really, he's really not bad. He's, um... Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about and whose absolution they promise if you pay enough coin to Mother Church. Look at them. I keep they, they, fit. they booze like hypocrites and, and, and buy expensive jewels. <laughs> I failed two of the checks. Servants of God. I'm not doing and, too and, hard, and that guys. that's not right because, because Christ preached poverty. <laughs> and only poverty and temperance are true virtues. And it was almost getting interesting. Damn. I say to you, in the words of Jan Hus, he who knows much, let him speak much. He who knows little, let him speak little. Let each speak as much as he knows. And he who knows nothing, let him at least teach his neighbor one virtuous deed by setting him good example and refraining from playing dice and from fornication. And that applies both to priests and to you, brothers and sisters. That's his conclusion. That is all I heard. <laughs> I think I did really bad, guys. <laughs> Have you no shame, you pair of buffoons? I'll be writing to the bishop. I fucked it up. For shame. Utterly blasphemous. Can you believe such Damn. Oh, God. God.
I hope that doesn't like prevent me from getting the. So, is our deal still on? Are you pulling my fucking pizzle? I couldn't have done worse myself if I'd puked on the altar. Well, I'm no preacher. Yeah, I noticed. And I wasn't the only one. You can't be serious. After all that. All what? All you making a complete hash of my sermon? You were supposed to help, not get me into even more trouble. Now I'll have the bishop on my back and all the villagers. Just leave. I need to pull myself together. And what am I supposed to do? Find someone else to help you. Oh, shit. Now what do I fucking do? So I'm investigating what happened at the stables. There was like a giant murder raid type thing going on. And all of it led me to a guy here in this town. Well, when I got here, he had already been murdered in like a very brutal way. And all the leads pointed to the preacher who I went and talked with him. And he told me that I, he couldn't tell me anything because it's against the church. It's like against his vows to uh, talk about what happened in confessional. So I got drunk with him and got up to all kinds of debauchery and we woke up all hung over and I needed to do the sermon for him. And he said, if I could pull the sermon off, he would tell me what happened in that confessional, giving me a better lead. However, I <laughs> fucked up the fucking sermon apparently because all my uh, speech checks failed. So now I kind of don't know what to do. I don't really, I don't really have a lead, but I can't imagine like the quest hasn't failed. I can't imagine it's like not another way to do it. So we'll see. That's part of game in it, isn't it? So to answer uh, T Hall's question earlier, yeah, I guess your choices matter. And also my reputation's lowered now, so I bet people don't really want to talk to me that much. Tell me who Lubosh's cronies were. I've reached a complete standstill. Don't even mention that so-called priest. He knocked out one of my teeth yesterday, and you were there with him. <laughs> I ought to clap you in the stocks. <laughs> I'll go willingly if you stick Goblin next to me. It'd be worth it just to see him suffer. I can well imagine. I've already told you nobody came here to see him. But now it occurs to me. I did hear he was tried in Rate for some mischief or other. Maybe oh shit, we got a lead. The scribe might have made a record of it. Thanks, Bailiff. I never thought of that. And let me give you another piece of advice. Don't go boozing with Godwin again. Oh hey, it's homegirl. Good afternoon. Oh, I see. Cold shoulders. You didn't want to talk about anything. Well, too bad for her. I gave her the best 30 seconds of her life. She'll never get that again. You there, scribe. My respects to you. I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Ask away. Just said the scribe. That's all. Do they mean the scribe and Rate? Rate? Thank you. Well, ugh. You've seen humans up ahead who seem to be waiting for someone or something. They haven't noticed you yet. We're going to try to avoid it. Oh, I failed. Shit. How many are there? Just the one? Yeah. Yeah. 
Do a little cheese in here. What in the fuck? I'm so bad with this bow. Okay. Good thing with a bite to eat. Yeah. God be with you. Do you need anything? God bless. God be with you. What can I... I'd like to make use of the bath. So what are you interested in? Ah, oh, awesome. That can be arranged. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Oh. Look through any of the records. Nope. You there. Get off your ass. God be with you. <clears throat> I need to have a look in the Black Chronicle, Friedrich. And I need blessed relief from my suffering. May the Lord have mercy. Well, I don't know what I can do for you except bring you a priest. I'm not dying yet. I just can't get up. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm on the trail of those killers from Neuhof, and I need to know the names of the men who were sentenced alongside Limpy Lubosch from Ujitz. I can't remember. Once I write the record down, it goes straight out of my head. It's essential that I find out those names. Is there anything I can do to help you get back to work? I can't go to work when I can't stand on my feet. Konyash the Apothecary has an embrocation that helps, but it costs dearly. Of course it does. Some, it might do the trick. Just one small favor, am I right? All right, I'll try and get some for you. Take care now. Ah! All right, Mr. Apothecary. I'm going to get fleeced and swindled by the... Uh... Ye old snake oil salesman. Potion seller, I require some of your potions and elixirs. I'm glad to see you. Oh. That was really nice. Scribe Friedrich needs the embrocation for his joints. What? Again? He was here not long ago for some. He ought to make it last longer. I told him not to grease himself up so much. It could cause... Ah, oh, the older he gets, the more foolish he is. Well, did he tell you such salvation is costly? Have a look in the shop for yourself. Can we do something about the price? I... Um... Since it's you... They must never do it on the first one. That's not enough. Of course it's not. Wonder how uh I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Alrighty. Alright, old man. I've got you your joint oil so you can grease yourself up with it. God be with you, good sir. He got up awfully quickly right there, didn't he? The embrocation. And you were right, it certainly wasn't cheap. I know, lad. I've been using it for years. Will you let me have a look at the Black Chronicle? 
Well, you helped me, so now I'll help you. Come along, and I'll show you our Black Chronicle. That really is a miraculous ointment. You haven't even rubbed it on, and it's already working. You know how it is. Faith itself is the greatest healer. Just thinking about the relief it will bring makes me feel better. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Come along. God be with you. Swindlers and crooks, all of them. But I can read. Okay. Dun 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 dun. We're looking for Limpy Lubots. There it is. Tonda, a farmhand of Lasham on Holy Saturday, did test testify under trial by ordeal that he did ride with Lubosh called Limpy of Ushitz, and they did rob Wayside Shrines. He did testify that by Townberg, they did rob five horses of the bailiff, from which they did take a value worth five groschen, and that there was present to one Heineck called Riki. He furthermore testified that they did keep him company and dwell with Heineck in the woods around Ledechko. For theft, Tonda is sentenced to have his ear cut off. It's a hell of a sentence. All right. Uh, could you find something for me in that book? The thing is, I don't. I don't know. That's a little bit of a. You don't know how to read, do you? But I do. So I know how to read. I was really proud of that. to track down those Neuhof cutthroats, and I need to find out the names of any cronies of Limpy Lubos from Ujits. Hmm. Give me a while. Take care now. <laughs> Will you let me have a look at the Black Chronicle? Well, you helped me, so... That really is. You know. Good luck to you. Ledechko, so... Woods around Ledechko. So we need to find... I guess we just gotta find Heineck, right? And where Vlashim is, I have no idea. You know what? I was just thinking about it too. I've been putting off doing that perk where like you get an increased like speech check whenever you're talking to people who are like commoners or lowborn. I bet you if I would have picked that, I would have gotten through that uh, sermon. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinnick? He's the tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Try at his folks house, but he doesn't spend much time there. So you know this Hinnock. Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Ratai for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits. Just so. We're all honest folk here and we've no use for the likes of him. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Adela. That's who we're looking for. You'll find it nowhere else. Wine or liquor. I just want on to their uh, side because they would take it to get that bombers peak. Like 
Make their aim more smooth. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell Something tells me whoever made this game, like, I, definitely I read a book or two. Look, Hinek's my friend, and I really right, need to know where he is and what he's doing. Right. But I already told you I don't know where he's got to. So I suppose he just goes to the woods to pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms? No. More like hares or other game. So Hinek is a poacher? That's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you Red about? Goods. He Rest said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. That checks out, too. I mean, so, like, they consider alcohol, like, a performance-enhancing drug for, like, professional archery tournaments and stuff? That checks out. That's cool, man. I like little details like that. Is something troubling you? I wouldn't say it's troubling me exactly, my boy, but I've heard talk about the Susso blacksmith and I'm losing sleep over. What talk might that be? They say they've heard him chanting when he tempers steel, and that nothing of his ever breaks. Sounds like a wizard to me. <clears throat> Is the blacksmith by chance a dwarf? Using spells to strengthen steel. That sounds like old wise tales to me. That's what they say. They say he's always muttering something, and if anyone catches him at it, he stops at once and gives them dirty looks. Maybe he's just praying. Well... He's getting help of some sort, whether it's prayers or something less holy. And uh, how could I help with that? Simple enough. Go there and find out if there's any grain of truth in it. I suppose asking costs nothing. Just don't ask him outright about any sorcery. Time to reach worry, back into the void that. here. Good, good. And don't worry. And you summon another Red Bull. Once you find out what's what, you can't find a way to I don't think that's going to get old for me. I think that's funny. All right. I'll go and see if there's anything to the stories. Good. But be subtle about it. Don't go embarrassing yourself. Or me. You're parrying my shit? Nope. All right. I got my spade. That's what's most important. Find Riki's stash. Said the west side of it. West corner. Actually, before I start rummaging around property, I should probably talk to the people who own it. Hello, Tana. Good health to you. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Have you ever heard of him? Why wouldn't I? That's what they call my son, Hinek. Ah, you wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Phoenix shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick, and Harry? Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears, isn't it? But this time his neck's on the block. He got mixed up with some very dangerous people. I have to find him. All right. I'm really glad I took that perk. It's already worked right twice. <clears throat> like, like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Enoch makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not The Red Bull perk is nice, though. It only cost me my soul. Thank you. Really in as much shit as you say. Pay no attention, old man. I'm gonna dig on your property. Oh, we dig in. Oh, I knew he was gonna get mad. Not me, not me. I'm just just a, just a silly little guy. 
Probably should have waited till night, huh? Cool. Well, on we ride. I wonder if you could build like an old house like this. Obviously, like put like modern amenities and stuff into it. Just make it look like that and have it be like structurally sound. Just you know, so, like it wouldn't like dilapidate after like 10 years or something like that. My respect to you. What's happening around here? Ah, you know, now I think of it. I've not the local herb woman. She always comes here. Oh, and then, especially at the mill, not a week goes by with, whenever they're planning some mischief. They're always a little there. And by the way, like that sake, has started an archery contest here. Hmm. If you want to try... I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinnock. But ask someone else. They have nothing to do with Riki. It only drives my customers away. Huh. Really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Got him. <laughs> A friend of Hinnett. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. I never know if my check is going to work. I damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching there. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him. And it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. But give me your word of honor. You won't tell anyone about our My boy Henry's so smooth. Fine. So, what do you want to know? I hear Hinnak has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going coaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so he had to have a light for that. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading That's from the good. forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're Time to go check for some mine shafts. You your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. How much game did he bring you? Not much, a few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry hears something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. Hope he doesn't immediately try to kill me. Expect any use from advice from you. And he's and talking he's, to the old corpses. No more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me. I, I can explain. I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men. No. Huh. Then who are you? Fair enough. That's not important. The important thing is we have a common foe. Considering all the enemies I have, the odds of that are pretty high. I'm talking about the gang that raided the Neuhof stud farm. <sighs> I know you were there. I was, but I've got nothing in common with those bastards. 
I'll take your word for it, providing you tell me what you know. I don't know why you should care. And if it keeps my neck out of the noose, I'll spill the beans. That Neuhoff raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there, mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realised what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhoff. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking, I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're going to rob a farm, he says. That was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then, nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd run... Man, they got a knack for names, don't they? Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhoff, too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox, with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy. I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Ooh. Where did the rest of your gang end up? Hate to tell you about old so Limpy. Limpy right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhoff. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid. On the way to Neuhoff, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not all of them. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt. And Pius warned us to watch out for him. Ooh. I don't... What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up, two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Run. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them, and we all took to our heels. Luckily, they were so bucket from the raid, they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well... Hey, over here! Oh shit. Shh. Jake, tell the cave. Shut up. Tell me. Oh shit. Grunts, people. We've got to get out of here. But they're too close. We'll never outrun them. Fuck! 
least they didn't know I'm here. The two of us can take them by surprise. No fucking way. I'm gone. Look here. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we stand a better chance. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, time to nut up. All right. Nut up or shut up, boy. I suppose you're right. No, don't put it away. Uh, I'll slaughter you. Uh, call the yeah. combat. Come on, you shit. Uh, oh, hey, you. Uh, uh, Come on, you piece of shit. Ha <laughs> ha, idiot. He shit his own guy. Suck it, dude. I think they killed Reek, though, didn't they? God be with you. Do you know Timmy? He's a big man and, and a complete numbskull. Aye, he works here, or he used to. I'm not sure. He vanished a few days ago. Vanished? Weird. Know, Weird. Try asking his sister, Mira. You haven't seen him? You don't know where he she is? Works here too. Shit. May the Lord watch over you. I'm looking for a colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. Listen, someone wants to kill him. I have to warn him. My God. So it's true then. That idiot's got himself mixed up in something dangerous again. All right, but not here. Man, these people just take you on your word. Yeah, somebody's trying to kill him. I gotta talk to him. Oh, well then certainly you're not the killer. You don't want to kill him, right? No, not at all. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things, but I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later, they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is, and I'll take care of him. He 
He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed. Oh shit. Okay, boys. <laughs> Why would you let him surround you? I've got the feeling you're looking okay. for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. That's interesting. I'm also looking for a big ox called Timmy. Well, what are the chances? Could it be the same <laughs> fellow, I wonder? Could it? Now, if someone were to there's tell me there's like a hundred people in this entire like, country. Man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. I'll see if this works. I hear he's hiding in Ratai. Oh yeah? Where in Ratai? He's at the butchers. They're his kin. Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on you. For your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Come on, boys. That guy's name is Moorcock. <laughs> I'd be a bandit too. I'd be killing everybody. Anybody who got in my way. You coming? Don't fucking annoy me. Oh, you can't. What's wrong, honey? What happened to you? Sir, if you only knew, he told me he'd marry me, even though his mother forbade it. And then they killed him. They killed him, the dogs. Damn. And his mother told everyone it was my fault. And now I have a child and we live like beasts in the woods. I hide in the woods at night and during the day beg here at the roadside. Can you help me, sir? A little coin? They drive me from the village, but if I bring a groschen or two to the merchant, he'll surely sell me a little food. Um, yeah, we'll give her Horse. some money. Here you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you a hundredfold. Tugged in my heartstrings a little bit, poor lady. Yeah. Hey, Timmy. How are you today? I'm all right. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it fuck, dude. It, it wasn't me. I, I didn't... I mean... Shit. <laughs> I saw what you did at Neuhoff. What are you talking about? You weren't there. I, I mean, I wasn't there. This guy's guy was dumb. Back. You were there with Limpy Lubosh and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your mate Hinnock told me about a whole camp full of those horse hunts. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. Yeah, you're not you stupid, Timmy. one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Trying to catch me out. I won't tell you nothing. Why would I be trying to catch you out? For Christ's sake, man. They crucified Limpy Lubosh in Ujit. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> shit. I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of funny. Hinek told me you were there and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only 
I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. I thought this guy was supposed to be an he ox of a man. A he looks like a normal dude to me. Some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. There were some wrecked houses there and all. In the woods. A, a church. There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Townburg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns, I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutters, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house, only abandoned. Go to the left there and carry on till you come to this clearing with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? Uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow. I hope I'm not supposed to remember all this. You go straight along there. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left until you come to a crossroads by this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. After a while, you'll see a bridge. And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promised. Oh, no, bugger. I meant to make you promise, but I forgot. Don't worry. But in future, find some other way to make money. Like honest work? Thanks. I'll, I'll try. On account of my sister, at least. That girl at the windmill? Hi, Mirka. Did you talk to her? What did she say? She told me you're as thick as a fence post and always getting dragged into some mischief. Did she? Yeah, she's probably right. We might be getting close to... Greetings. What do you need? About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Townburg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. Damn, 300 gold. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be Oof. invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. May the Lord watch over you. Actually, let's, uh, let's talk to the lady. Oh, they're at church. God save. Can I help you with anything? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. My lady, but why me? <sighs> Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? will be my honor, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sassau for Sophie. 
wine from a merchant in Ratai and a roan from the stable in Ujits. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. <laughs> that should be enough. You said uh, a roan from Ujits. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous. So young and vigorous. My word, lady. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hack and believe. Wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. After this battle, I just wish sure. there were others here I could trust so well. She's talked to me once. May the Lord watch over you. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? God save, my lord. I hope things are peaceful in your fiefdom. Peace? Peace is rare in these times. But right now I'm more troubled by politics than warfare. What's wrong? The monastery stalled the purchase of stone and everything connected to the building project. <laughs> and now I find out it's because of the quality of the stone blocks, or so they say. I don't believe a word of it. It looks like profiteering to me. And is anyone dealing with the problem? Well, my Chamberlain is in charge of it, as always. But all he's done is send them a letter. He says putting more pressure on the monastery could provoke them. Those are his words. So there's nothing else that can be done? I don't know. I've been thinking about taking a more direct approach. But I expect the Chamberlain won't even hear of it. He'll just keep on sending them polite letters and hoping that does the trick. I could help with this. Do you think this is a job for you? You aren't even in my service. I do serve Sir Radzig. He knows he can rely on me when he needs me. And I've never let him down. This is true. So do you want to go to Sassau and ask about the stone? Yes, I'll do it. Good. I'd like you to ask about the stone and keep your ears open. See if they aren't talking about another quarry. I'll do my best. Hopefully they'll talk to me. They will. You ride in my name. So don't forget to remind them of it. Good luck to you. Alrighty. Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzig wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzig is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzig said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? Everyone? There really are a lot of them, Sir Divish. He's leaving the camp almost empty, too. We're to go and join his people in Pribislavitz and mount an assault together. All right, then. Sir Radzig knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you leave my men there right now? Cool. Yes, sir. Let's do that. Okay. May God be with you in battle. Farewell. Whatever's gonna just get me going right to it. Alrighty. We're off to war. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robot. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did. But I find it hard to believe. 
Who could possibly put together such a significant military force? And right under our noses. We'll just have to find out. But I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... Bro, I have a bad feeling too. This isn't going to go clean. So speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly along oh, I get to. I have to choose. The long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. Oh, yeah, first... What about the last approach over the bridge? It's a bit narrow. That worries me, too. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers, it's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. Me. <laughs> Baptism of Fire. Good name. I'm going to try to pick some off from the side, I guess. Now we're playing Chivalry. This was dumb. This was really dumb. I did dumb thing. I'm not smart. I'm hurt bad. This was dumb. I should restart. Cool if I could heal though. Kill the human commander.
boxes before we're all shot. Climactic because uh, I'm bad, but hitting me. I think I'm going to end up dying. Had to do it. See where it takes me back to. That doesn't help me at all. There's like no frame of reference. For like where to hit or where to aim.
That looked like a hit to me, but... Got him. One more. That's a hit. God, I'm suck it. What I need is some arrows, though. Come on. He's dead. <laughs> I guess I helped. I don't know. I felt like the one use I felt like the useless guy there.
There he is. And you go out and dogs. Drive him back. Oh, don't just run in there, Henry. This guy's way better than you. <laughs> I will cleave you into you, bastard. All right, boys. Thanks, Vesta. I appreciate yes. it. <laughs> I don't know why it removed your chat, though. You the... Fuck me. I don't it removed it from my drugs. feed, but I see it on the uh, thing. Fucker, hey. I really appreciate you. With my sword. Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Spend all that talking time. Now he's got his breath. Whoa. He is whooping my ass. This won't take long. I'm try something here. It's crazy, I know, but. Take one in the eyeball, boy. I cheese the shit out of that. <laughs> I did not deserve to win that fight. I wish I fought like that whenever, like. Good fighting. With it. 
I'd say you're flogging a dead horse there. <laughs> you just bleed now. Get down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? If we'd taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. There were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. Just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, uh, you live to fight another day, eh? Yes, beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Damn. That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. That's the fear leaving you. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratte, and then decide what to do next. Come what may, you did a good job today. Now, I wonder if I get to loot all the corpses. They all had so much shit on them. I probably don't, though. I will make you pay for this. It's time oh, who's this? Part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir. Oh, we got somebody, uh... Okay. Huh. Get out of my way, peasant. Are you kidding me? Fuck you and your stupid mustache. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Provisalmans. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. If he's wounded, we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. Uh, that is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fact what? <laughs> fact what? I don't <laughs> fact what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here is just a pile of copper. Kurra! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... <laughs> worth. 
<laughs> Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these grottoes seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler down. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. They haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out yep. where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come and report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Townberg. Seems Townberg's okay, hopefully. Lady Stephanie of Townberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noble woman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away uh. for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. <laughs> Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. <laughs> yeah, shame. <laughs> so funny thing, guy, about that wine is I just bought this brand new shiny longsword. But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Yep, gonna enroll in that well, I competition. I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help. All right. Appreciate you, buddy. Oh, they're all sleeping. Oh, man. They not have a stamina bar, dude. Right, you turd. else worth taking the other boy still after me yeah they don't know me son 
They don't know me, son. I just stabbed the shit out of those boys before they could even get up out of bed. What a bad way to wake up. Reminds me of those memes where it's like, there's no worse way to start your morning. And I'll be like, with a bowl of cereal or something like that. What is that? Raise the alarm. Watch out. That is Over horrendous. Here. Where is everyone? Quick. Where is it? Oh, where'd you alarm. all come from? Suck it. I think that was it. Probably them over there, right? I should have slept. Now that I think about it. Never know if this is just going to go wrong. No way. Oh, okay. You're in the wrong place. Alarm! All that combat. Oh, dome shot. Who else fucking wants some? There's no way you're running for me right now. Hey, all of you gather here, raise the alarm. Two arms, get over here. Fucking hell. Oh, that's what that is. I activated the blood rush. I was like, what is that axe? Really, nobody, where did they all run off to? They're all gone. You know, they just don't make bandits like they used to, man. Fuck are you, boy? Hey there, Goodman. What is it? I'd like to challenge you to a duel, sir. A little amicable combat. I don't know. This guy's like. He looks Why pretty did stacked. I fight you? An honor and friend. For honor. For the thrill of combat. Oh no. This is a Miyamoto Masashi looking motherfucker. He's like, oh, he's like, I just want to fight the strongest people. You know what? Why not? I could use a little exercise. Excellent. I see you have no fear. Let's get to it then. Oh, he's really good. Cool. Cool. 
This was a mistake. This was a mistake. This guy ain't fucking around, dude. Holy shit. I was I was really worried he was going to fucking beat me. Okay. Well, Good health to you. What's going on here? We caught a human and locked him up in the barn. How did you manage to catch him? It's not like I underestimate you, but I can only assume he was armed. Aye, oh, he was. But he had a bit of bad luck. I went for water in the morning, and all of a sudden I saw a man on a horse riding through the ford. Halfway down the ford, the horse got wild and threw him into the water. I waded in and pulled him up on the shore, and then I realized he was a cumin. Luckily for me, he'd hit his head and was out cold. So I dragged him into the barn. And what plans do you have for him? What do I know? The miller told me to guard him. You'll have to ask him what he's got in mind. All right, I'll ask him. Interesting. We were getting close to halfway. Uh, but after that, we'll spin the wheel and see what the next game is. But, uh, see you guys later. I appreciate you all coming. Much love. And, uh, you guys have a good night and enjoy the rest of it and your Sunday. Good night.